Nothing really changes. Just take my shots in the flow of the game. It's not like I'm hunting for a specific shot or anything. Uh, I just like to, you know, I be running what we're running, and when the shots are coming, they're coming, and when they're not, I'm not really worried about it. I'm just kind of focused on, you know, scoring as a team. So I don't think there's really anything that really changes. Have you seen teams this season focus on taking away your three-point shot yeah. from time to time? Yeah, yeah. It's especially after North Carolina game, I think, uh, the last two games, they've really limited help side. So that can be used to our advantage, too. I mean, it creates some more open lanes. It opens up post work more. I think Duke just does it more often than not, just kind of stays out towards shooters and uh, leaves the post to be guarded one-on-one. -on -one. But it, I mean, it's. I think that's they're starting to take that away, yeah. Did you think that made Mike's life a lot easier? Is that that's a big reason why he got there the other night was they were keying on you a lot and he was able to Maybe part of it, but he also made some really tough shots. He just played a really good game overall. And once he was getting uh, cooking like that, it just feed him the ball because even in there doubling, I mean, you kind of want them to double sometimes because it opens up everything for everybody else. It's always good to just play inside. And when they're just putting one guy on him, then it's easy for him to work out and get a, get a basket. You guys have done it once already against Louisville and it didn't go well. How is it different when you play a conference team for the second time? Uh, you, you know them a little bit better. You know what they want to do a little bit better. Um, I don't think Louisville is a good representation of what we can do facing a conference team the second time. So I think when we play against Syracuse tomorrow, it's going to be a little, a lot different of an approach. Uh, and you know, it's just the second time we get to play against that defense. And then they beat us pretty bad with three pointers last time. So obviously, we're going to focus on taking those away this time. So I think we, there are adjustments that we can make that'll definitely uh, benefit us. Just elaborate on that a little bit. How much do you think it does help you guys to see that zone the second time, basically, after you have a film that you can watch and you've had that experience? What What do you think, what kind of lessons can we draw upon? How does it make you better have a play against it once you get another shot at it? Yeah, it definitely helps us because we can see what we did that game, see what worked offensively, see what didn't work, and then adjust from there. And, you know, it's just, you can watch them on film against other teams, but you really know a lot more when you play them yourself. So I think we'll just know what to expect more. I was going to say, have you guys looked into that yet? And, and what do you think were the most important lessons you guys learned? A little bit, a little bit. I think we just, I think we want to move the ball more and play inside and just kind of break down their defense more than just like pass prone or pass prone or pass prone. Is that different for a team like Syracuse? Is it more tactical when you kind of know they're probably going to play their zone almost the whole game? And then attacking a zone like that is. It's more of like a tactical thing that opposed to a team like Louisville where the change defense is a lot and a lot of it just comes down to individual physical plays. Exactly. It's definitely more tactical. Um, there are certain ways that um, certain teams can break down the zone and it could be different for different teams. And I think we're definitely figuring that out right now and the offenses we're putting in and the adjustments we're making for the game. Cam, you guys have obviously played much better the last three games. Is that something that an outsider would notice if they got a chance to watch in practice and see you guys, you know, moving around the campus and everything? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's something that somebody would notice just watching practice. I think the intensity is elevated. But I also think it just comes down to taking what we do in practice and putting it in the games. I mean, all along we've had high intensity practices. I think it's just about applying that intensity and focus and teamwork to the games that's really paid off the most. Obviously, you've uh, never played in the Big East. You weren't here yet. But the style of pit basketball that you kind of grew up watching, mm -hmm. how do you think that's changed going into the ACC? And uh, what do you think were maybe some of the biggest challenges for this program in that transition? Um, it's definitely changed the style of play. Uh, we kind of put more length on the uh, court and less just sheer size, less um, physicality, you could say. And it's 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 a it's a change that kind of reflects the ACC overall. Um, you need a lot more length, you need a lot taller guys, you need to be able to shoot the ball, you need to be able to match up with the other teams, and I think that's what we're doing.